My name is Holger, I'm coming from northern Germany. My colleague is Jan Peter, he's coming from Berlin. And uh, we want to introduce to you our association that we founded, Freie Farbe. This is a German word uh, meaning free color. Free color association, it's a non-profit association uh, that we founded. And, okay, uh, why did we found this? Association. Why did we uh, see the need for this, this uh, idea? Because, in fact, you know, color is not free. I will show you, I will uh, give you some examples for that, that. So, in practical work, you have to do with many color systems. So, you, you work, maybe on the computer you work on RGB and CMYK, but in practice you have to work with Pantone, RAL, HKS, FOIL systems, textile systems. If you go into a do-it-yourself shop in anywhere, you have walls full of color samples from many, many manufacturers. So, this is a limitation that you have to... Uh, to to see when you work with colors. Another point is these color trademarks. Color trademarks are there for some uh, special areas of, of, econo of our economy. For example, Nivea is a blue, a, a dark ultramarine blue, which is, um, which is there only for Nivea. You, you cannot, if you if you are a manufacturer of, of cosmetics, you cannot put your cosmetics in another tin with the same color. It's forbidden, it's not allowed. So this color is taken. So another point to say color is not free. And there's this copyright protection, another point, which I, I show you in two examples. So you have some very big restrict, restrictive license conditions. For example, in the point of Pantone, which is uh, in every Pantone fan lab you find these license conditions, which are mainly telling you you may not spread this color system because it's copyright protected. <laughs> <laughs> it's this. So we are here on this LIBOR graphics meeting to, to uh, bring another point to this LIBOR graphics. The color. And another color system which is on the same way is the RAL system, which tells you also, you may not spread the system uh, to others, you may not publish our system. There are no tables in the internet of CMYK or RGB values for the Pantone of the RAL system, because you immediately will get um, a letter from their lawyers that it's forbidden, it's not allowed. It's, they see it some, as some kind of music or let's say some kind of software or something, a word which is copyright protected. So then, we see the solution in free color, and free color means for us mathematical color. The mathematics is not copyright protected. If you say one and one equals two, it's not a copyright question. This is common. This is allowed to everyone to publish these, these information. And there are some mathematical systems which, for color, which are not copyright protected or protectable. So, for example, the RGB or the CMYK or the LADC lab system, uh, which has the other way around, the HLC, we will tell it um, better later. There's no licensing necessary. If you want to include Pantone colors in your software, pay a lot of license fee. It's not allowed for free. If you want to include CLAB or RGB, of course it is license free, it's, it's possible, it's, it's there on any computer from the operating system. So it's not a problem. So another advantage of these mathematical systems is they are um, computable, as the name says mathematical. They are calculable fully you can, uh, for example, um, examine intermediate colors, the colors which are between two other colors, or uh, the opposite colors, which is the question of 
color harmony can be found out. You, you will not be able to make this by itself, by, by mathematical calculation, with Pantone or with Rall or, or, or these manufacturer systems, because you don't have these mathematical formulas for them, unless you don't have the Sealer values. So, another practical question is this comparison with other systems. So, which RAL color is another Pantone color? or which uh, CMYK is it, which RGB is it, which HSB, and so on. Everything is possible with mathematical calculation. So it is available anywhere, so why we don't use it? This is our, our uh, idea in mind to found this association. We want to bring this, this uh, idea to public. So we um, decided to promote the CLEF model, which is from 1976, which is very widely spread in uh, professional color measurement, for example, color formulation, um, textile industry, industrial areas. The CLEF uh, system is the, the main system which is used there. This is the LAB values which you find, for example, if you want to enter color in Photoshop, for example, Photoshop and so on, they make, uh, uh, you have an input field for this LED value. This is the model, you see the, the graphical form of this in 3D. And uh, this has some more um, advantages compared to RGB and CMYK. You have in CLAB, you have the full uh, gamut. There is no restriction to gamut in CLAB. You have until the rainbow colors, which are the most intense colors which are possible, uh, you have every color can be uh, defined clearly in LAB. The model is perceptive. It is better uh, here from the theoretical point of our vision um, to, to model our vision. It is better than the RGB or the CMYK because these are only uh, technical calculations and the perception has been included anyhow by formulas into the CLAB system. So it got the standard in color measurement and is also already included in many software applications. And this is what we want to encourage you to include it. This model, this best of in our uh, um, idea, in our head, um, the best model which is existing from the point of freedom, liberation of color, and from the point of mathematical and perception um, color, to, to include color into the software. So we would like to encourage you to uh, bring the CLAB system uh, into, the, into your software. There's one um, extra, one calculation from the CLAB LAB values, which is even better than the LAB values. This is the LCH. The LCH is the polar coordinates of the, these Cartesian rectangular LAB coordinates. And these LCH, which we bring into the order HLC, is in our eyes the, the the better one because you can Im immediately imagine a color or a value as a color. If you are a little familiar with these values in the circle, in the color circle, which is the basic uh, and which gives the H values, the U values, so then the color is defined by three, three dimensions, HLC, which can be immediately understood as U lightness and Chromacity chroma. So the saturation chroma. So then uh, we would like to encourage you to also include HLC. How many minutes do I have? One minute and then you. Okay, okay. So then we made an atlas. I, I gave it to you. Jan Peter will present uh, more inside. Yes, inside this. This, uh, file, these files that we are making and 
we put together all these HLC values to a printed version and to a, a downloadable version. And if you see the model here, uh, you see the, the gradients between, for one color, H60, which was in the circle at the uh, 60 degrees angle. There, this orange, and this is uh, then there on one of the, these pages of our atlas that we made is uh, then divided into the likeness in, in vertical direction and into the chroma or saturation, some kind of saturation in the horizontal direction. So then we are a non-profit non association. Um, we have 50 members. Among them are some bigger companies like for example, Colorgate or KFlow or some players from the graphical industry. Um, we are coming from Switzerland and Germany. Uh, Scribos was um, very much engaged in our team by doing some scripts. Gregory Pittman, he made some scripts for the Atlas. Without this, it would not have been possible to have our printed Atlas. So we give a Big thank you, thank you, Gregory, to Gregory. <laughs> and what we are wanting to do is promotion of open free color communication. Yes. Okay. yes. So now I give over the word to Jan Pink. Uh, what, what our goal is uh, to, to make an ecosystem uh, of commercial application as also the Libre Graphics community uh, using the same tools uh, to exchange color without any license fees. And uh, so normal for, for RGB and, and CMYK it's a quite, quite easy task. Uh, there, there are no license fees. But at the moment if you need a real world color then all, all the slicing issues are, and, and, and that's uh, the, the main power of companies like Pantone, that they make it easy to, to order ink buckets just by number. And our goal is uh, also to, to make it easy to uh, order an ink bucket, uh, but without uh, renaming Pantone. So what, what we will uh, doing with our system, so we, we have the HLC color space and uh, for the general specification of color and in the design stage, uh, if you work in for office web mobile media, uh, you're converting to color management profiles uh, these colors to sRGB. Uh, if you're going to CMYK for printing, uh, you're converting to a CMYK output profile to your CMYK. And if you need an ink, our system provides the spectral data. This is normally uh, mostly hidden in Pantone. You will never get any spectral values uh, out of uh, and talk. That's it's the most hidden secret. And our secret, you can download the spectral values for every HLC color. And we have standards developed in the packaging industry from professionals which are fed of Pantone that do you have in standard uh, to all things currently used only by professional uh, big packaging companies, but it will come. So we are working together with uh, standards organizations like Dean and uh, developed uh, the Dean Spec 16699 Open Color Communication. Uh, this describes how color values can be exchanged. It's based on HLC LA based color specification. It describes how physical color samples are made, how the creation of spectral data is made from uh, this 
uh, color standards, and you can download the specification from the uh, oh, sorry, it's void DE, not DB. I, I will change this uh, later. So we have, we have a project called uh, HLC Color Atlas. Uh, it's going it's roundabout. Here I, I have one. And so it's mainly about uh, the reference implementation of, of the Dean spec 16699, and it has this uh, systematical grid. You get uh, a PDF and color libraries under a Creative Commons license. You can integrate uh, in Libre Graphic softwares. And if needed, we also provide the, the spectral data for communication uh, with ink suppliers. And our goal is that uh, the spectral data will later be a normal reference at the ink supplier that, that you can order an ink just uh, by its HLC number, but is currently uh, needs a little bit of time that, that we have a real simple order process. Now we have to provide prototypes and, and talk with ink suppliers which are currently uh, using such workflows in the packaging industry. The, the Atlas is targeting the, the professional users. <laughs> it's uh, produced with high-end proofing systems and it has a very low uh, color tolerance even better than the Pantone Fandex and uh, we provide sRGB and CMYK color values uh, as uh, free of charge with, with the data and every atlas has a quality. Are you selling those? Yes, the, the selling are? atlas is 149 but uh, the, the, because it's a lot of work to do but uh, all the color libraries are free and uh, you even would be allowed to print your own atlas. You, you can uh, uh, take the deal spec and, and read the spec and uh, everyone is allowed to, to make his uh, own atlas. Um, and I just will show a little bit, uh, a very short moment, the, the digital version of our atlas. So, uh, we, we have a small and a big version. This is the real big version here, and this is a PDF file which has uh, several layers. And uh, uh, so, these are the, the theoretical uh, colors uh, of, of the hue. 195 uh, to a grass tone and if you can see which are of these colors could be printed in uh, sRGB and and you see uh, you, you have a, a lot of light colors there 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 are the, the main colors but if you go let's say to a typical uh, print profile for offset printing that some colors which are printable, not printable uh, in, in sRGB, or you have some colors already printable in uh, CMYK, and then you can choose. That's very the close to colors. the primary C, right? The, over in the corner there. What? That's very close to the CMYK primary C. Mm -hmm. Yes, this yes. Is why you can <laughs> yes, and so you, you can use this uh, color atlas uh, just to see, to choose colors which are easily printable but, but, but also for the web and but if you see the, the gamut which we have used for the color atlas this is a high-end uh, system which has a much bigger color space than the normal uh, CYK offset process so it's all, all the colors you really can order as special colors or spot colors and this is our project and we hope uh, to have a real usable alternative to Pentone in some time. Thank you.